All right, this is Morgoth here from 95.3 FM Greenlight Radio. I'm sitting here with Odorous, your yeah! Does Morgoth smoke cigarettes? Morgoth quit smoking cigarettes oh, a few months Morgoth, ago. Oh, Morgoth, you suck. What about you, Morgoth's friend? <laughs> no. You don't smoke cigarettes? <laughs> you gotta go find me a cigarette. Go I find me. That. Will you please do that? I will do that. I got, I, my voice isn't supposedly uh, husky enough. <laughs> <laughs> Go ask my slave, Nate. The Nate slave. Where's he? He's up there diddling with himself. I don't know where he is. I'm busy being overlord of Earth. I can't keep track of every slave. Gee, where'd you find him? At an abortion clinic? Protesting it? Protesting it? What kind of planet is this that they protest abortions? Ah. Anyway, on with the interview. Alrighty, well, um, you guys just released your 11th studio album, Lust. We did? <laughs> yes, of course we did. I think it's the 12th, though, isn't is it, it? Is it the, tw the 12th? I, I might have counted wrong. I don't know if it's the 11th or the 12th. I'll have to ask the sl another slave about that one. We have slaves for everything, you understand. <laughs> uh, I think it's 12. So, anyways... I'm uh, going to count them all right now just to find out. Okay, you got Hello? Scum dogs of the universe. America must be destroyed. This toilet earth. Ragnarok. Carnival of chaos. We kill everything. Violence has arrived. War party. You're right, it's 11. Hey, there's a cigarette. You're right, it's 11 fucking records. <laughs> so, um, how, uh... Damn it, I, I was sure it was 12. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> How do you think the filthy fans enjoy it, and how do you enjoy it? Well, they love it, and we love it, and we love loving it with them. Uh, Guar has always been about love, uh, loving things that are unlovable, like a Guar fan, for instance. Ugly, zit-ridden, you know, prepubescent, shoplifting little mongrels that they are. Someone's got to love them, and it's going to be me, savagely, <laughs> anally. Everywhere. Anywhere. So would you say they love the album anally? Oh, they love it. I mean, yes. Um, they fucking love the new album. Everyone's like, oh, Guar, your album's new heavy. It's like, every fucking Guar album is heavy. Some are heavier than others. But the new album, I think, we're just kind of getting... Unlike a lot of bands that suck harder as they get older, Guar is going quite the opposite. We are getting better. And I think it's because it actually took 25 years... Four parts of the band members to actually de-thaw. Right. Yes. <laughs> true it. Very, very true. As you guys would say, true that. Right? I'm I, trying to keep up my street jargon. Uh, I, guess. I think it's annoying that most kids out there who are too stupid to apply themselves to read the King's English instead make up for their inadequacies, their literal inadequacies, by making up new words, rather than going back and learning the good ones. I think that's pathetic. <laughs> Ebonic schminonics. You notice they stopped talking about that pretty quick, didn't they? They're like, maybe we should drop this whole ebonics thing. <laughs> Whoa. Well, let me ask you a question. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> cute, kid. Real cute. So you said you are, uh, you're nearing your 25th anniversary, and um, well, is, there, is there anything left to conquer, or have you, have you just raped well, the yeah. whole planet? Well, yeah. Everything is left to conquer now. Excuse me while I hit my crack pipe. Delightful stuff, crack. Uh, well, there's something to defend, and that's crack. Uh, Earth is the only place in the universe that has crack, and we were fucking appalled to discover that. Uh, recently, when we captured the uh, Scumdog Warship SS Cripple Killer, piloted by the Renog Renegade Destructo Brothers, and apparently there's more of them now. I thought there were just three or four of them, but there's even more. Anyway, we got the fucking ship. We went back to outer space, found out everything was fucking conquered. You know, outer space was basically a really crappy strip mall. All of our favorite bars were closed. No heavy metal anywhere, and no crack at all. So we were forced to return back to Earth because Earth is the only place left in the universe that Cardinal Sin hadn't got to yet because we're the furthest, most outflung, uh, remote bullshit planet in the whole universe. That's why we were banished here. So it's taken this long for Cardinal Sin to get here to conquer the place. And as it turns out, he's going to show up exactly when we're playing tonight 
and try to disrupt the festivities, and we're not going to let them because we're there with the good people to rock the house. And nothing's going to stop us, especially not some intergalactic road cone head asshole who doesn't smoke crack. I mean, if he would just hit the pipe a couple times, maybe he'd loosen up. But that would mean sharing, and I will not share my crack. So, uh, so, so the um, being the leading intergalactic band, uh, wh where do you see yourself and Guar on Earth in 2012, two years from now? Well, I hear some bad shit's gonna happen. Uh, Planet X, the comet. Uh, maybe we can jump on it as it flies by. But now that we have a, a spaceship, you know, we can pretty much blast off out of here anytime we fucking felt like it. But we can't let Earth be destroyed. If there's anything I can do to stop the comet, I will. Don't worry, human race. I'll save you. Nothing can stop Guar from getting its crack. And this is the only planet, I guess it's just a, environmentally, the factors together very well to create the best shit. And I'm not about to get separated from it again. So the, the planet's fine, humans. Don't worry. So um, you've been recently appearing on uh, Fox News over the past few months. Is this some kind of global domination scheme between Guar and Fox? Well, I don't, yeah, it seems like an unlikely partner, but indeed Fox News has been all over my tip on this red-eye thing. Uh, Greg Goodfeld and myself, uh, he's uh, had me on there like ten times now, and they call me the interplanetary correspondent. I'm pretty stoked about it. Uh, every time I'm on there, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the last time that I'm on there. <laughs> but they keep asking me back. It must be how that's, maybe it's appealing to old ladies in Sheboygan. I'm not really sure. But uh, they do recognize the fact that in Odorous they do have a being from outer space who pretty much pretends like he knows everything and has a mouth attached that can run, as you're seeing for yourself, pretty much uh, unassisted for hours, days, years, months on end. So, Cool.